Are you looking for a simple yet powerful way to host webinars and online meetings? Well, you are in the right place. Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel, your go-to place for easy to follow software and tech tutorials. In today's video, we are diving into Zoho Meeting. Zoho's user-friendly platform for video conferencing and webinars. So we will show you how to schedule meetings, host webinars, customize your settings, and even collaborate with participants all within the Zoho ecosystem. Whether you're a first-timer or switching from Zoom or Google Meet, we will walk you through everything you need to start using Zoho Meeting like a pro. So let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do, visit the official website of Zoho Meeting. On the top corner, there's going to be an option to get you started, but of course, you can simply click the sign up for free. If you do, you will be forwarded to a new page. You just have to provide all the information needed. And to make the account creation easier here in Zoho, you can click the any of the following accounts. You can use your Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter or X. And then after that, now, once you have created your account here in Zoho, you would notice that you have the option to click the Access Zoho Meeting. That would forward you to the platform itself, right? It's free forever. But of course, having the free plan gives you some kind of limitations. Later on, we will discuss if when is going to be the right time for you to upgrade to the premium plans. But for now, if you are having issues accessing the Zoho Meeting, you might want to use a VPN. And then it will automatically forward you to the main homepage here in Zoho Meeting. And you would notice that there's going to be like a status wherein your, when your trial is going to ex expire. Which is in our case, that's going to be 14 days from now. But don't worry because what we can do is, you see there's going to be a lot of tools on the left side panel of our dashboard. So basically the homepage is kind of like your main dashboard once you have logged in kind of like a landing page providing a quick overview of any upcoming meetings or any recent activity in our case since this is a newly created account we don't have anything yet but you may also see notifications like recent recordings if you have joined anything or performance insight it gives us the meetings and webinars where we can broadcast now and meet now we're gonna do that later because the meetings is basically at the bottom part of the home section this is where we can schedule host or join any virtual meetings all right you see there's going to be two options you can click the meet now for audio conferencing or video conferencing if you click the audio conferencing you will be forwarded to a new page all right connecting to meeting right here and at this point you have three options you can copy the meeting link copy invitation or invite members or a group via email you just have to type in the email address of your, one of your uh, team members, other freelancers, or even your clients so that they can join the audio call. And click the invite button. All right. And then you need to allow access to your microphone. All right. Click the request permission and you would be able to use that. The audio call right here. And then on top of the audio call, you have the settings, making sure that you are accessing the microphone without any problems. Use that. You can grant your microphone permission. Speaker, you want to make sure that everything is in place. Preferences and the network performance, right? So if you wanted to make sure that the connection is tight and good, you want to make sure you go here at the settings, all right? And then after that, as you can see, you have all these options for you. You have the, if you can start the video, you can do that. Your microphone and browser. If you wanted to share any files or windows as part of your presentation, you can do that. And the participants right here. The chat button. The chat button gives you the opportunity to say something. For example, in this case, we're going to be using this. And you can type it in. You can also add anything here for example i'm gonna add something okay so our chat gives i'm gonna give the team the file once you're happy with that you have their participants chats notes and polls if you wanted to create a poll if you want that you can 
type of question you can send like an answer type single choice multiple choice or star rating click that click the add button and once you're happy there's going to be a three dots icon here you can have the meeting notes you can lock the meeting or even start recording you can also enter full screen or breakout rooms there's plenty of options that you can do for the breakout rooms you can add that open rooms right here so you can have like a separate um room without actually leaving the entire session right which is kind of like um a good way to uh kind of like a semi-private conversation you can have a picture in picture right here you can add someone here for example if you wanted to kind of like a smaller um chat within the session you can do that here plus the change layout the change layout gives us the opportunity for us to change the entire design if you're if you feel that the layout is not for us it's kind of boring you might want to make it interactive to change it All right and again after that i'm gonna end this call because i'm gonna close the window okay we should be able to go to the first one remember the activity gives all the recent recording that we have joined all right so that's going to be for meetings for the webinars if you want to schedule it's very easy here in zoho meetings just click the get started and you will be forwarded here you can click the broadcast now if you wanted so if you don't want to schedule right off the bat you can create a webinar of course you need to request the permission for your microphone and it's similar to what we have done earlier earlier in this case i'm gonna cancel and proceed all right select your devices and proceed copy that webinar link send it to your client your team members depending on your preferences all right i'm gonna end this webinar so that it will be forwarded to our recent activity on the main platform and then there's gonna be the call section the call section it lets you make an audio or video calls directly within your contacts or team members which is kind of ideal if you're part of a collaborative environment ideal for a quick one-on-one -on -one or small group discussions integrated with zoho communication tools if you are a fan of zoho this is going to be the best uh communication tools for you all right of course the calendar displays the uh, view of all your upcoming meetings webinars and calls if you want to schedule a meeting you can do that type in the title participants put it here in the agenda of course click the schedule it's very easy and of course you can set reminders and manage schedules all in one place all right and then the rooms is very valuable for creating and managing meeting rooms or virtual collaboration spaces if you want to add a room right here it's very easy all right click the accept button which is I find it very useful for rec recurring team discussions or departments okay click the save so the rooms can be permanent or time bound it's up to you the files stores all the recordings presentations and shared documents from your meetings and webinars if you don't have any recordings if you do you will be forwarded here since we didn't record the earlier webinar we weren't able to see this and of course you can organize the meeting and webinar by editing the title the analytics is where you can find the data and performance insights about your meetings and webinars you can have like attendance stats engagement levels poll responses helping evaluate meeting effectiveness the users is where you can manage participants you can add new users here like a team member department and then you can set permissions and access level for example an administrator or a member and click the add button it's a very simple using Zoho meetings. And with that being said, and that's a wrap on today's tutorial on how to use Zoho meeting. It is a clean, user-friendly, and secure video conferencing tool that works great for both team meetings and large webinars, especially if you are already in the Zoho ecosystem. It integrates seamlessly with your other apps, making it a smart and efficient choice. It's not as flashy as Zoom or Teams, but it gets the job done without unnecessary clutter. So we highly recommend it for businesses and professionals looking for a reliable, budget-friendly virtual meeting solutions. Now the question is, 
Have you tried Zoho Meeting? Let us know your experience in the comments below. Would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video.